I'm your host, uh, Frank Culp, and uh, Melissa, great denouncing job there. Thank you, Frank. You know, I think I look at that lineup, and the one thing I can say is just, wow. Wow is right. Wow. <laughs> You're right. I, uh, David, our co-host, wow. Are we right? Uh, Melissa and I, wow. I, uh, okay. Um, all right. Well, why don't we, uh, without further ado, bring out our first guest. We're very happy to have her, a very talented uh, actress. Uh, you'll know her from uh, Ed Burns movies like The Brothers McMullen and uh, Long Time Nothing New and, of course, uh, TV's Spin City. Please welcome Ms. Connie Britton. <laughs> welcome, Ms. Britton. Thank you. Great to have you on the program. Hi, hi. Uh, so. There we go. Uh, yeah. All comfortable there? Oh, very, very Good. Okay. Comfortable. Now, I mentioned uh, Long Time Nothing New. That's actually uh, Mr. Burns' latest movie. Right. right. His but third movie. The third movie. Yeah. You were in the first movie, The Brothers McMullen. Yeah. That, was the, that was the big sort of fluky Sundance winner. It was right. a great movie, yeah. So I take it you two must get along pretty well. Yeah, yeah, we're really good friends. Doing these movies yeah. together. Okay. Um, and we also have now a picture from Spin City, right? Yeah. And, uh, Maybe you can just tell us uh, who everybody is here, for those sure, who might not know. Sure, sure. That's Barry Bostwick. Right. That's Sandy Chaplin. Right. Michael Boatman. Right. Um, that's, of course, Michael J. Fox. Alan Ruck. That's me. And that's Richard Kind. Oh, okay. And uh, so... Uh, is there a little spin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're kind of the, uh, you're the, the one woman here with all these uh, Right, all with these all men. those macho men. So yes. how you feel. It's great being the one woman on the show. It's really fun. Actually, this year I think we might we might bring in a few more people, although not a love interest to Michael J. Fox. That's not going to happen. But there might be a couple other women there, which will be nice Ooh. nice company. So, uh, uh -huh. so stay tuned for that one. So uh, stay right. tuned. Okay. Yes. We don't want to give away any secrets. No, right? no, no, no. no. Okay. I don't know any secrets. Okay. They don't tell me any secrets. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know. Now I know you like to travel, and you recently just uh, had a trip to Italy. Yeah. Right. Okay. I did. And you had an interesting encounter with ghosts yeah I did I had a weird encounter with ghosts and I don't really believe in ghosts right you see but um, I was staying in this great this like 400 or 500 year old villa in Tuscany and um, woke up one night in the middle of the night at like 4 in the morning and heard up above my head in the room up above me like all this moving around and people, t and t like a man and a woman talking. And it sounded like they were talking in Italian. But I just thought it was the people who were sleeping up there because you can really hear a lot in these villas. Right. You know, they weren't well insulated back then. So I didn't really think anything of it and went back to sleep. And the next morning I woke up and asked if what was going on. And everybody was like, nothing, we were all asleep. And I thought, hmm, that's strange. But, you know, I was like, uh, okay. So wow. then the next night I um, woke up to the same kinds of sounds, like a lot of moving around upstairs. And I pulled out my watch, and it was 4 o'clock in the morning exactly. And I was like, oh, <gasps> my God. And I, and I sat there, like, sweating in, in the bed and just listening. And it went on for exactly a half an hour, from 4 to 4.30. And the thing was that I could hear the man who was sleeping in that room upstairs snoring through the whole thing. So it wasn't him. Because he was snoring, and there was all this, like, activity Ooh. going on. So uh, and the third night, I moved my bed into my friend's room and didn't sleep the whole night. But then I heard nothing. So wow. then they were gone. Well, that's oh a pretty convincing God. story. Yeah. Oh. Think arguing I... or just talking? Uh, what? Were right. they arguing with each other or just talking? The, I, the, voices? I, the, the voices? I think they were just kind of talking. Just kind of hanging out. Yeah, they wow. were just sort of hanging out. I mean, okay. you know, it was their place, I guess. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's it's very pretty, scary. Pretty wow. spooky. Yeah. Now, uh, now, I also know that you uh, speak... Chinese. You've traveled to Asia, and mm -hmm. uh, now uh, could you maybe uh, teach us how to say something in uh, Chinese? Sure, sure. My Chinese is a little rusty, okay. so I apologize to all the real Chinese speakers of the world. Okay. Of which I'm not really one, but I did study it in school, and I went and traveled in China, and that was really great. Um. <laughs> and so maybe there's a little phrase you yeah. could teach us. Maybe something helpful, like if we went into. Uh, a Chinese restaurant. We well, actually, no. You know, the thing, the odd thing was, I learned a lot about like battles and stuff, but I didn't really learn so much about like food. Oh, like practical. I'm things. not so good about food. So, so what can we learn? Yeah. What kind of phrase well, in battle? Well, you know what? I'll like... teach you how to say. Um, no, I'm just gonna say say a greeting. Teach you how to say hi. How you doing? Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? 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 Ready. Okay. Ready. Ni hao, ni shanti hao ma. Ni hao. Nishanti hao ma. But see, here's the thing. Like, there, there, there are four different tones in Chinese. I speak Mandarin. There are four different tones. Well, I sort of speak Mandarin. Um, where you, you, can either, you can go um, up 
or down with the word, or then um, down and up, okay. <laughs> or just straight across. So it's like you have to say, ni hao, ni shanti hao ma. Ni hao, ni shanti hao ma. Very good. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, please uh, stick with us, and uh, you know we've got we've got lots more ahead, and uh, I think you're really going to enjoy this. I know. Uh, I'm this, sure I am. This so is very special. Very, love very excited. To be here. You'll love this. Oh, okay. Please welcome Alex and Laser. 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 I'm Alex. Okay, Alex. And now, where are you guys from uh, originally? Well, I'm originally from Montserrat, oh. an island in the Caribbean. Okay. And, and I'm from SKB, St. Kitts. Wow. It's oh. in the western. Indies. St. Kitts, right? Yes. Okay. And now, uh, what kind of workout do you guys have to do to stay in this kind of shape? Like, well, how, how often do you do you exercise and eat? Almost right now? every day. Every day. Yeah, wow. because we work at the Statue of Liberty. Oh. Oh. You know, we entertain the tourists there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So if, if somebody goes to the Statue of Liberty, they might suddenly see you guys doing your, your stuff oh, yes, there. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. All right. Well, yeah. uh, stick with us, guys. Uh, there's lots more coming up. But uh, Melissa, maybe you can tell us what's ahead. Sure. We have a guy with musical hands coming up, and also a guy who makes banged teeth. So stay with us. <laughs> Okay, uh, boy, uh, we're just getting started here. Uh, uh, Miss Britton, everything going okay? Yeah, except ghosts. Oh, ghosts. Oh, uh, okay. oh now they're gone. <laughs> Great. Uh, you sure you saw them, though, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Laser, everything going okay? Uh, sure. I, and uh, Alex? Uh, yes. Great. And that, uh, well, we'll talk to Dave later. Uh, <laughs> Melissa, everything? Everything's great, Go thank you. Okay. All right, well, why don't we bring out our next guest? We're very excited to have. Please welcome Mr. Bruce Gaston and Mr. Ken Purcell. Thank you. 
uh, and Mr. Gaston, right? Yes. Uh, there we go. Yes, Frank. And Mr. Purcell, uh, how are yes, you? Okay. Now, you guys have been playing together for uh, five years? About right? five years, yeah. And mm -hmm. you're actually working on a uh, CD now. Okay? We are. Right. Yeah. We've uh, managed to stay out of jail, too. That's a right. <laughs> uh, great, uh, I think, uh, right? Uh, that's, no, I, I always think that's a really positive a... step. To that. <laughs> what do you call that, actually? Actually, this is called manualism. And, uh, <laughs> It's just the art of uh, being able to make music by squeezing one's hands together. I can even do a wah wah. I just, just go. Uh, it's all wow. natural. Oh, okay. those jazz numbers. Yeah, yeah, it's all natural. Yeah. Now, you've been able to do this for years, right? Like I've a... been practicing for 30 years. Yes. 30 years, wow. And, and uh, it's. Uh, you know, just been a very long road, but uh, it's been worth it. Now, it's been rewarding, but it's also gotten you into some trouble, right? You were doing this in a movie theater? Uh... That's exactly right, and I uh, almost got punched out because somebody thought that I was uh, making bodily noises, and uh, yeah. they thought they were for real, but they weren't. Okay, and uh, now, uh, Mr. Purcell, I understand you're having some problems with uh, groundhogs, is that right? Uh... I've got a yard full of them, yeah. Okay. And, but uh, uh, they, they really, they dislike the sound, the, the pitch that comes from his hands, so, uh, we practice out in my yard a lot of times and see them go scurrying into the neighbors. <laughs> it's like those little sonic things you put in the ground, you know, this works better. This is a good practical use for that. Yes, uh, sir. Okay. Yes. Um, all right, well, stay with us, uh, guys. We have uh, another guest we'd like to bring out. Uh, please welcome Mr. Sebastian Todd. <laughs> welcome, Mr. Todd. Thank you very uh, much. Now, you do optical and dental special effects. Yes, I do. Okay, and uh, now basically, uh, you create these with, uh, you, you actually have an example of this, right, in your, in your mouth. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Bad. Okay, so now this is a, and you work out of a store, where's your, your store? We, it's a, called Andromeda. Andromeda. It's, yeah, okay. we, my company's called Sabretooth, and we work with the store to uh, market our products. Okay, here in New York City. Mm -hmm. It's okay. on St. Mark's Place. So now people come in, and they, they tell you they want to get uh, fangs, is that right? Yep, and then what we do is we make a dental impression, very much like if you went to the orthodontist. Right. Um, and then we make a pair of cosmetic fangs. And then you could show us uh, yeah. some of the examples there. Sorry. So we got here a pair of canines, which are your standard classic vampire fangs. Okay. And then these are the laterals, which are the, sec the second incisors next to the frontal teeth. Right. They're better for biting, of course. And then we have a double set, um, which is very similar to Lost Boys' interview with the vampire, oh, vampire in Brooklyn. Go. Okay. Now, and now you have some, uh, some guests that you brought with you yep. who actually uh, have these teeth. Uh, yep. Two of my uh, lovely assistants okay. here. Okay. And, and, uh, And uh, maybe, uh, ladies, you can introduce uh, yourselves. Hi, I'm Luciana. Okay. And, and I'm Angelique. Okay. And now, which uh, teeth uh, are you uh, ladies uh, wearing? Um, I have a very subtle pair of interview lens. Okay. And I have um, the laterals on, and they're more frontal than canines. And the lenses I have on is, I have a Celtic cross here. And over here, I've got a blue cat eye. So now, uh, you ladies will go out on the town uh, uh, wearing these uh, fangs and the uh, and the and the eye. Uh, yeah. And the eye fangs. Okay. And the people seem to like it. Uh, I, I would, I would it's think. Nice, it's right. a nice icebreaker. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, now you actually have uh, some eyes you'd like to show yep. us as well. Yep. I got a pair of Lost Boys eyes. And. Uh, oh. These can are pretty can well. you see okay out of those? Uh, yeah. You can oh, get a good. pretty good view of what's going on. Well, they're. Uh, they're quite uh, fetching, uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think. Um, all right. Well, uh, please, if you'd all like to have a seat and join oh, us you. here, uh, just uh, makes a little make a little room here. There we go. Now, uh, why why is it that you think that uh, uh, vampires are so uh, popular? What's uh... Um, in the words of Catherine Ramsland, who's Anne Rice's biographer, she knows it better than anybody. Um, vampires are basically something that was heroic. They were made like heroes by Anne Rice and Poppy C. Bright and other writers, and it became a Generation X heroic figure. Okay. Um, so. And now, uh, Ms. Britton, you think you'd like to get maybe some uh, fangs and uh, lenses? For... Um, for the weekends, yeah. 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 Okay. There sure. we go. It's fun for clubbing. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. now, uh, don't go away. We have uh, lots more coming up. We have a, a guy who's going to sew his tongue. Uh, we're going to have a real-life gunslinger and the music of supertones, so don't go away.
program today. Now, uh, now, Mr. Todd, I know we were just talking during the break, and you pointed out that not just anyone could make these eyes and put them in there. Absolutely. You really need to go to an optician to get fitted for them, and then we do the artwork on the eyes. Okay. On the so it really takes a pro to, to do that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's something that you don't want to risk. You don't want to mess with. Eyes. Okay, so remember that, Ms. Britton, uh, so don't try that Thank you. Okay. So much um, better knowing that. Okay. Um, all right, well, let's please welcome our next guest. We're very happy to have Mr. Jim DeLise. Nice to see you again. Hey, nice to Hi, see you again. Hi. I, Hi. Now you nice were actually you. Uh, uh, on one of our earlier programs. Right. Um, here's a little gift. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. I that's figured a... the show gives so much, I want to give something back. Oh, thank How you. Sweet. That's great. Okay. That's, we don't even have to nice. water that much. That's no, not thing much to... at all. Right, yeah. okay. Um, all right, well, now please uh, have a seat. You, you brought back with you uh, some, some new tongue tricks right. that you're some going to do. Some new and improved tricks. Wow, that sounds great. Thanks. All right, get yourself comfortable there. All right, now. Hold that for you? Sure, thank you. Now, uh, okay, now, uh, Ms. Britton will hold the mirror, mm -hmm. and you will show us your latest tricks. Right, well, one of them I want to just bring back uh, one that uh, was I actually do again, a baby tongue, and what I'll do is uh, another version of it. Okay. So I'll just... Well, here like we this. have the baby <coughs> tongue. Right. Okay. Where's my friends? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, okay. Where are your right? friends, uh, Mr. Hey, Jones? Uh, hey, there we go. <laughs> okay. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Baby tongue, uh... Oh my god. Wow. And for the that's, final that's one. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. okay, this one's just a little bit macabre. Don't worry, Melissa. I'll tell you a little bit later on. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I just want to let you know that it's an optical illusion. I didn't put it through, so don't worry. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you for that. It's just yeah. a trick. Uh, right. There we go. Then I'll sometimes get a little queasy with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, now, Mr. Police, I know you have a, a lot of uh, tattoos, and you have an interesting story. You had a tattoo on your hand, right, that you removed? Yeah, how did you know about that? I, I, someone was telling me about he that, knows actually. Uh, and that, yeah, maybe... that was one of my arrests. I did it when I was in high school in art class. I got bored one day, and I just decided to do a tattoo on my wrist. Peace sign, nice symbol. But unfortunately, um, my mother didn't like the fact too much, and I tried to tell him that it was fake, and my father said, well, if it's fake, you can take it off. Well, until you take it off, you can't go out of the house. Well, I had to go do some drastic measures and take Brillo and take it off. A little bit's left over, though. Br oh, Brillo? I still see it. Yeah. Uh, oh, but now, okay. since you know they allowed me to get it, now I can get it and legally not get kicked out of the house. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Uh, bring out our next guest, if we may. Uh, please welcome Mr. William Best. Thanks. Now you're how, how old now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. And where where did you learn to do this? Uh, um, I learned this with the Harlem Youth Marines. The Youth Marines. Okay. Yes. And you're planning to actually enter the Marines uh, yes. someday, right? And uh, how long have you been with this uh, group, the Harlem? I've Youth? been with the Harlem Youth Marines since I was ten years old. Wow. That's that's great. A real accomplishment. And uh, now I see on your uh, shirt there it says uh, best. Yeah. But that's actually your name. That's my last name. Right? But it's also like a badge, like you're the best. Kind of thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Something like that, uh, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so. All right. Well, please stay with us, uh, Mr. Best. Okay. Uh, we want to bring out uh, a band that uh, everyone's going to just love. Uh, they, they're going to do their song, uh, Supertones Strike Back, from the album Supertones Strike Back. Please welcome from Orange County, California, 
the Supertones. So what you wanna do? 